Jake! What up, man? Training Jake, hard? Uh, yeah, dude. Non-stop. Honestly, this is my the best shape I've, I've been in. I'm, I'm excited for this fight. 18 days away. When are you getting in there, Aiden? Actually, you know, uh, soon. Okay. Um, He's got to fight his battle against Lean first. Bro, what is going on with this Lean shit? I think, yes, bro. I'm clean. What the fuck is going on here? You know what? I'll just say this right now. Jake, after you um you beat Diaz, I actually I want to get it. I want to I want to get in some work with you. You know, we'll, we'll do some Miami training on uh, the hot sun. You know what I'm saying on the beach. I'll it's not just no, Aiden. It's not just about the training. I think every man should have a professional fight at some point in his life. One because of the pressure you're under and how scary it is because there's a yeah. lot of pressure because you're putting your ego on the line. And secondly, because you have to dedicate yourself to a training camp completely and fully. You can't just do one pad session and put it on the fucking internet and talk about being a fighter. You need to dedicate yourself and try hard and set a date where you have a fair competition against another man and put it on the line. That's what you need to do as a man so you learn about yourself. Okay. Yeah. Don't you don't you have beef with like a some other streamers and stuff too like one guy named Hassan, but he's like seven foot tall and he wears dresses so i'm not i'm not gonna fight that guy you're andrew you're, oh there you go is that the guy the guy i think it is yes it is oh my god your mate yeah, yeah. um but nah man I, I would love to get in the ring i swear i, I actually re really really would um one day i think if you had a reason to to stop sipping lean it would help you like if you had no, to get clean. I've been clean for a while now, about a month. But you were you were texting my friend like three days ago asking for a lean plug. Okay. Andrew, he's lying. No, I'm not. Lying. I'm not so, lying. You're, you're talking about Jasper. Okay. Yes. It was, not, it was not three days ago. I texted him like a couple months ago about lean. I haven't done lean in over a month. You can drug. I'll take a drug test on stream tomorrow. Do you want me to do it? Do it. Chat, chat. We want to see this. Make okay, sure you well, does. Why are you making Okay, fine. I'll do it. No, no, no. All right. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. Do it. I'm going to do it for real. I'm going to do it. All right. Got you. Um, yeah, I got you. So, look, no, you won't. You, you talk shit. You're, you're gonna never going to get a drug test. You don't talk this shit. You guys are gang up on me. Jake, are you going to fight Andrew? Andrew, you're going to fight Wait. Jake? Would you guys ever fight? Well, I'll tell you something. Let's talk about this because there was a time where I called out Jake Paul. There was that time. So let's talk about that. It's when Jake first called out Connor. I think this was like four or five years ago. Is that correct? A long, a while ago. And I yeah. said, Jake, I'll fight you. I remember saying it to him. At the time, I wasn't nearly as known as I am now. And then since then, I've made it very clear also to the world. I said that Jake, I believe, is the best YouTube boxer. I believe he can beat them all. And I think he's training very hard. And a fight against Jake would be a real fight. And I do believe he's working hard in the gym. And he's more of a boxer than he is a YouTuber now. I don't think we're going to fight, especially because of my current legal situation. I can't even leave my house. However, I do think that in terms of YouTube boxing, I'm glad it's came. I'm glad it's a, a space now. I like the idea of people with beef fighting each other. And I do also, and I want to make this clear to everyone, and I've said it multiple times, I do think Jake is the best of all the YouTube boxers. I don't think that can be denied. Well, thank you. No, I appreciate that. I, I think, yeah, my answer to it would have would be like, if you figured out your legal situation i i think you should get in there because it would be massive maybe maybe not with me maybe with whoever it is but i would everyone i think would want to see you fight. everyone wants to see it it would make a bunch of money and i don't want to say but before i was arrested in december there was a conversation ongoing about me fighting someone and i'm not going to say who it is because it didn't happen and i asked for a lot of money and they offered me all the money i wanted and it was very close to being signed. And then I obviously ended up in a prison cell. So certain things changed. But um, yeah, I know the whole world wants to see it. The whole world would love for me to get in there and fight somebody. I'm very aware of that. But uh, we have to make I'm sure down. the stars I'm align. Like if, we could, if we could ever figure it out, I would be down to do MMA or boxing either. Like the PFL would make it happen. So if, if you ever figure out the situation, I think it would be huge. Wait, you, know we should, you know what we should do, Jake? While you're next training, I know you're only 18 days away from a fight, but next time you're training and you want some sparring, fly to Romania and we'll spar and we'll film it and we'll decide if we want to release it or not afterwards. But I have no problem. We can have a sparring match anytime. That's easy, no, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That, but we can't, but we yeah. can't release it for free. That's like, it's like giving the people what they want for, oh. for nothing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's true. Hey guys, I, I would love to. Uh, you know, I'll spar too for you with, with you guys. Fuck, I'll, I'll, Jake. Let's just go to Romania. We'll, we'll go 50 50 on the jet. Go to Romania, Jake, and I'll, I'll spar. We could do a threesome spar. I'm with it. Why do you make everything sound weird, dude? I'm down to just spar with you guys for fun. Guys being dudes. Anyway, Aiden, yeah. Have you ever played a sport, Aiden? Have you ever been outside? You look pale. 
Uh, I actually haven't been outside in a long time, but uh, Jake, I have you know that I'm going to be going outside a lot more now. And and that's a Jake made an important point because when it comes to these fights, he he made an important point about the people want to see it, and that's very valuable. So it's not as easy as people think to just fight. There's a whole bunch of promotion behind it, and things must be done, etc. Because if it was that easy, like I said, Jake and I could spar, of course, but that video would be worth millions of dollars. So we can't just throw it on Twitter for free because the whole world wants to see it. I mean, I. I'd be up for it, but I understand Jake's a professional fighter, and when you're a prize fighter, you want a prize, right? I know we should. I mean, we could still spar. Like uh, that would be fun, anyways. And maybe we put like little clips out, and not the whole thing, or give people a little teaser or something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll you know where I am. Out. Well, I can't leave the house, Jake. So <laughs> right. you know where I am. I've, I'm I'm right. not going anywhere. I'm here. Jake, so, um, um, they, you know they're they're asking. I know they're going to ask. Um, Still, anything updates on fighting KSI? Are you, do you would you used to be down to fight him? Is that still a thing that's going to happen in the I've future? Been down, you know, I've been down. I've been trying to make it happen for a long time, and I think everyone can see that. And he's the one that has always had an excuse with music or touring. Um, and then he wants to drain the weight down to 180 pounds, which I agreed to if he wanted to do winner takes all for all the money. And so he says, okay, sure, we'll do winner takes all. He says it on Twitter. And then we go behind the scenes for the no negotiations with his manager. And his manager ducks the whole entire thing. They're like, oh, no, not winner takes all, like only an extra million dollars. Um, so then there's like a weight thing going back and forth. And it just uh, seems to me that he doesn't want to get it done. Are Logan and, and KSI really close? Or is it all just a weird like promotional thing? I think it's it's they're like acquaintances, okay. But it is like this weird thing. But they both kind of like joke about that. Like I've seen Logan be like, "Yeah, we're best friends," like and kind of say it say it jokingly. Um, but obviously they're business partners and that that whole entire thing. So. Mm. Yeah, interesting. I just thought I'd ask, and. I have nothing against Logan either. I think a lot of people think I have a problem with Logan. I don't have problems with anybody. I live with a pure heart. I'm a happy man. But I just thought they'd be, I was just curious about that. Because when KSI is running his mouth to you, I'm like, why is Logan not punching him in the face? What the fuck? Yeah, business, I guess, is business. Um, it is It is weird. It puts me in a weird spot because like, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I personally don't like it because it's like, there, here's this guy that constantly is dragging me down constantly jumping at every opportunity to to pull me down and to defame me and to say anything bad about me and then my brother's like acting like he's best friends with them and that even when people ask like oh you know they ask logan like oh who would you pick in the fight and logan's like oh i don't know that would be tough for me like no it's really not like wait wait wait. So when you ask eventually, he eventually says like well i would have to pick jake but he he plays both sides definitely and it 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 does get it does get annoying but it's like i also respect his hustle as an entrepreneur and as a businessman because he you know created this multi billion dollar company now with his enemy and i can't hate on that i want my brother to accomplish his goals and i want i'm happy for him and he's so successful and doing amazing and and to me that's i'm just proud of him i'm proud to be related to him i'm happy for him but definitely it hurts me sometimes seeing that shit for sure what age do you think you'll retire jake man i have no idea i, I want to be world champion and and that really is my goal and to prove to anyone that i actually can do it and to go from a disney channel kid who you know was not in the gym at all to a, a world champion i think um would be a remarkable story. And I think it would inspire a lot of other kids to chase their dreams, no matter how wild or crazy or sensational that they are. So that's my goal. And I think I could do it in the next three, four years. So I'll probably maybe retire when I'm like 30. Hey, can I ask you guys a question real quick? When you guys are fighting, uh, like, do you guys, do you guys develop like any problems from it? Like brain damage or anything like that? Like, does it like, you're like, do you guys develop any like physical issues well you can be unfortunate and you can be unlucky and that's the whole thing about fighting that's why it's so universally respected and yeah. i even said i even said this to ksi i said it when he, then he replied something stupid because he's low iq and i said 
ultimately at the end of the day anybody who enters the ring to a degree i respect because you're putting your ego on the line and you're also putting your health on the line it's pretty as close as you can get to the gladiator pit in modern times and i know people who have entered the ring and, and unfortunately they've exited and they've never been the same and some of them are my teammates and some of them are my opponents and it's it's sad always and it's yeah bad things can happen in there it's 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 real i've been very fortunate and i wish there was a world in which nobody ever picked up any kind of damage from it but it's a real possibility you have to keep in mind every time you're training for a fight so yeah it's scary gotcha i think lean is it worse for your brain than boxing though facts man that's why i kicked the cup had to jake are, are you still with emmy this is really crazy bro i can't bro like i'm not gonna lie i can't get away from lean why you know i'm not you know i'm not jake I know you're not. It's been a while since we talked. What do you mean? Like actually, you just talked like a month ago. Well, like a heart to heart. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, um. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Jake. No. No. Yeah. Well, this YouTube boxing thing, I think, is a fantastic opportunity for a bunch of people who are constantly just talking shit to each other to actually do something about it. And I think if people have a genuine issue with each other, then they should fight and sort it out. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's that's the best thing about it. And uh, it's interesting to hear what Jake's saying about KSI not wanting to fight him. Because I think that's the fight everybody would really want to see. I think that's going to be the biggest one. Perhaps one of the oh, biggest ones sure. you could make right now. For sure, for sure. And I've done everything I can to make it happen multiple, multiple times. Um, but at some point, he has to step up to the plate. And I think at some point, it, it has to happen just for the culture. And I, I know he wants it. It's just a matter of timing and all things considered. Uh, well, we'll me, see. We'll see whose corner Logan's in. Hopefully, he's in the right corner because you know brotherhood is the most important thing. And I, I think he would. I'd like to believe he would choose you, of course, when push came to shove. Yeah, no, I, I think deep down he wants me to win a hundred percent, but it's just the way he like presents that sometimes. Um, and th th that's what's weird about it for me is he's the one who. When he lost to KSI, he's like, you have to go beat him. And that's really at first, like, what motivated me a lot to get into the gym and train so hard. So I saw my brother being broken and sad and and the loss was really affecting him. And he was like, he kind of like bestowed this thing on me to like, go get our family's name back. Um, and so then that's why it's like confusing for me, the situation that they're they're really in is logan there now no no he i mean he's in puerto rico but he's not at the house right now uh, i was gonna say hello <laughs> nate diaz is here actually in puerto rico he's over, he's like in the other house over here have you seen him training um can we go can we get him yeah, yeah. Okay. oh shit i can get him i can get him you know, Nate's like, there? Bro, 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 Andrew, I'm a big fan of Diaz Brothers, bro. Holy fuck. I think like, I'm going to fan out, I think. Good. Good. Nope. They deserve respect. They, they train very Wait, hard. They, Andrew, they're legends Andrew, of the sport. Andrew, could you introduce me to them, please? I don't know them. I've never spoken to them before. Why would I introduce you? Oh, okay. You introduce yourself. All right. You're right. You're right. I got this. We get nervous over a fucking stream. Looking at a computer screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. My bad. My bad. You're a what? nerd, bro. Hey, shut up, dude. You were... <clears throat> Let's see if Andrew. Nate's there. Oh, with it, with that fucker. <laughs> God damn it! Off you go, What's Aiden. Up, you said you were you said you were nervous. Go on. Nate, I'm a big fan, bro. I'm a big fan. I I don't give a fuck, pussy. I heard you. I heard you like Jake Paul. I love Jake. That's my brother. But who who you think's gonna win the fight? I gotta go, my brother Jake, man. I'm gonna ride for my bro. Fuck hmm? you, man. No, but Mr. Diaz, you, right? you lucky we were in person. I stocked and slapped the shit out you, bitch. Mr. Diaz, I'm a big fan. You don't understand. Mr. Diaz, can I have a picture? Nah, you're lucky I'm even on your bitch ass stream. Damn, bro. The fuck? I'm a big fan, bro. I just want a picture, please. I'm gonna fuck about you. Damn. Is that really how it would go down, Andrew? Well, hey, by the way, thanks for my back. Sorry about that. Dude, I yeah, thought interesting. 
Interesting in training in the same place. Yeah, he's in a bad mood. Ah, man. Ah. Oh, you know what? I kind of, for a second, I kind of believe that, and because, <laughs> I, and I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm from, I'm a bit older, right? I'm 36. I retired when I was 30, just like you said. And when I was fighting, when I was 24, 25, it was before social media. So I'd turn up to fights, and I didn't even know who I was fighting. Now it's all about who the person is and promo, etc. I turn up to a fight in Russia or Moscow, and I'd say to my coach, "Who am I fighting?" And obviously, all the Russian names are in Cyrillic, and we're like. Maybe him, maybe him, maybe him. We, we don't know till you get in the ring. And it's always the guy you, it's the biggest of them all, of course, the one you hope it's not. But uh, there was times where, yeah, I was training in the same place as the guy I was fighting, or I heard the guy I was, or me and the guy I was fighting were warming up in the same room in, in Slovenia. So there's been times that that shit happened in, in the old school of, of the fight days. Hey, Jake, what do you think is going to happen in the DS fight? Man, I think he's going to be tough, but... Um... I'm feeling so sharp right now. I brought in a new team, new strength and conditioning coaches, new nutritionists. So this is the best I've ever felt. Um, and I'm getting better and better as the rounds go on. So I could see me stopping him in like the sixth or seventh round. I just think he's not going to be able to keep up with my speed and power. Okay. So you're very confident. I like Are you going to bet on it? I am. I'm going to put $100,000 on you. On God. On God. I want to see a screenshot of that bet, Aiden. I will. I'm going to post it. Yo, when I put $100,000 on you, Jake, and you secure my money, you know, I'll take you out. Uh, we'll go out. Take you out. Take me on a date, bro. Exactly. And Andrew take can, me. you know, go with us. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm not allowed to leave my house, so I'm going to miss it. Uh, but I'll just stay here, and I hope you guys have fun. Uh, I'm on month six of house arrest so far. And we'll see how long this continues for. So I'm going to have to miss it, unfortunately. Damn. So, um, that's fucked. It's already been six months. Hey, do you, do you do a lot of, do you like have <clears throat> girls over? Or do you like do a lot of jerking off? Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have the odd visitor, Jake, and I don't jerk off because it's haram and God is always oh, watching. Right, 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 so right. that's not something I partake in. I'm allowed visitors. I just didn't yes. know how it was with house arrest, like if you could have visitors or not. Yeah, I am allowed. I am allowed visitors. Andrew, yes. You know, you actually helped me stop masturbating because every time that I would masturbate, I would think of you and I'd be like, nah, this is not right. I'm going to stop. <laughs> what the fuck? I said, I'm going to stop doing this shit now. No, for real. You put it in my brain. Nah, I never, I haven't done it in months. Swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, I haven't done this shit in months, bro. Thank you for actually stopping that porn addiction. Fuck porn. I don't know how men can be addicted to porn. I don't understand. You must have very few options in your life to find a, yourself addicted to porn. I mean, every guy's jacked off in their life before, bro. But if you're, no. I, I'm talking about a porn addiction. You make it sound like it's something you can't help doing. You must have very few options if you end up addicted to porn. Yeah, true. I've only really, really severely been addicted to lean. It's bad, bro. Hey, All right, Jake, so Jake, 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 I got stabbed by a knife before. Do you want to see it? <laughs> you know, Jake, I swear to God. What happened? I was sleeping, right? And my uh my uncle he was on meth and he stabbed me in my sleep. For like just no reason, or he was mad at you or something? Uh he was on drugs. He thought I worked for the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. What the hell, Jake? No, there's just this shit you say, it just like I don't know if you're like special or what, but it's just crazy. Well, it's actually funny you say that, Jake, Andrew. I actually figured this out by myself. I'm definitely off in some way. I believe that I'm autistic or like on the spectrum of autism or something. No, no, no I'm not even I'm not joking. I'll shit aside. I appreciate you not laughing, Andrew. And Jake, I don't know why you're laughing. I'm pretty sure I'm autistic. Laughing at you. Laughing with you. You're just an outrageous individual. Eh? Really? I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> I gotta go, Aiden. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> what? Like, oh. <laughs> it's us again, me and you. Hey, Andrew. Listen, bro. You know I love you, right? All some real shit. You're like my big bro. Thank you. I mean, this is where you're supposed to say I love you too. You're like my little brother. 
You're not like my little brother at all, because my little brother is a man of upstanding moral character, hard work, discipline. You're none of those things. I do have a little brother, and he's a fantastic individual, and you are absolutely nothing like him. If he wasn't a fantastic wow. individual, he wouldn't be able to be my brother. If I had a brother who's addicted to lean, I'd kick the fuck out oh. of him. Fair enough. Sorry. It's okay, Jake. So, Jake, how much money do you think it would make if you and I fought? What's your price? What's your price? So people can start probably, bidding on it now. Probably, probably like 1.5 million pay-per-view buys at like $60. So like 90 million just in pay-per-views and then probably like another $5 million in gate and then like $10 million in sponsorships. So like 105 million. 100 million you guys would fight? No, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to calculate. Because if I were to fight Jake, I'd have to take it very seriously. It'd be a six-month training camp. I'd have to go to the mountains of Bosnia and not do much else. So, yeah, about $100 million. That's quite a lot of money. I don't, I don't know how much these YouTube fights make so far. Like, I don't know which one's been biggest or how much they made. Or, but I do think me and Jake would be probably the biggest pull. Or one you know of the biggest crazy? pulls. I'm not even joking. I don't even know who, I would, who I'd vote for. You guys are both like my boys. Who would you bet on, Aiden? God damn it. Fuck. Um, I really it just said depends who who's who's training harder. That's really all it's about. I said this right now. I'm gonna be vocal about it. I don't care if anyone doesn't like it. Right now, if Jake and KSI got in the ring, Jake's winning. If KSI tr whoever trains harder would be the winner. I believe if KSI and Jake got in the ring right now, Jake would win. And that doesn't mean that if KSI doesn't train harder, he has. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. It's all about how hard you train. So, with that being said, if Tate trains harder, Tate will win. If Jake trains harder, Jake will win. That's a cop out answer. It is. I think we should do it regardless. We should definitely do the sparring session just for even if the video never gets released, just so between Jake and I, we can, you know, have it'll be fun. It could be relatively lighthearted, but just between Jake and I, it'll be done just for for our own. Sometimes everything's not about clout and it's not always about the Internet and it's not always about views. Sometimes it's just, you know, two guys and we're like, you know what? Fuck it. We talked about it a few times. Let's put some gloves on and let's try. Regardless I think of it what should happened. be MMA. I think it should be MMA because that would pique more people's interest and it would make things way more interesting. I think that that's what we should do if we're going to do it. Do you train MMA now or are you still only training boxing? No, I'm only training boxing. Um, but I, I could start, you know, like if we really were going to do it, like you said, it would be like six months to a year and just focusing on that. Interesting. You know, the funny thing about... Question. Let me ask you a question. Sorry, sorry, I cut you off, uh, Mr. Tate. So sure. if I were, let me ask you a question. How much would you guys want to get paid to do, to do a spar live? I mean, if we're going to, yeah, like. If you're going to spar, you're going to fight. I mean, what's the yeah, difference? Yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, I see. It's the same. Sh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I was saying sparring just for, I don't know. I'm sure Jake has plenty of sparring partners, but if he wanted a new one. He's very welcome to in my house. No problem. I'd love to. I, once you're a fighter, you always want to fight. You never go, you never get to an age where you don't want to fight anymore. You never wake up and go, ah, oh, I don't want to fight anymore. It's something that's inside of you and it's always inside of you. And the hardest thing about fighting is actually retiring. It's knowing when yeah, it's you should very, quit. It's, it's very addicting and like fun and something to keep your mind occupied and just like the glory, the training, the challenge, like everything about it is, is really fun. It's so hard. Is it is it addicting to like once you're a boxer to like the feeling yeah. of it? Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And the hard thing is knowing when to stop because if you go on too long, you have a bunch of losses at the end of your career, and then you want to retire, then you want to come out of retirement and do it again. It takes a lot of mental control to decide to stop. I decided when I was in my early twenties I was going to retire at a certain age, and I stuck to that, and I finished on a win streak for that reason because. Otherwise, it can easily go wrong and you can ruin your legacy, etc. It's not easy to do. It's very hard, but you're always going to want to fight. That's the thing when you're a fighter. When someone says, I'll fight you, part of you is always going to be like, okay, come on, then fight me. It's just something that's inside of you. It's never going to go away. It's unfortunate that time marches on. Someone once very smart said to me that years come. What did they say? It's been a year since it's been a year. Something very intelligent and insightful. I can't remember who it was. It was a philosopher. I think he was uh, on. Yeah, the... I love that one. The It's been a year since it's been a year. Yeah, it's great. It, it, uh, ever since I heard that, it was really mind-blowing. And uh, unfortunate time marches on and we all get a bit older. So there has to come a point where you decide to stop. But I'm really not that old. People, I talk about myself like I'm old. 36 isn't old. In 10 years, you're, you're about to be 50, bro. It's kind of crazy. 
10 years, I'm going to be 46. I wonder if I'll still be on house arrest. Hopefully not. Who knows? Damn, man. Aiden, Aiden, uh, did your, did your uncle like go to jail for stabbing you? I didn't press charges. Well, he went to jail and then I said, Hey, I'm not going to push charges. Uh, and then he went to a mental asylum. Damn. Yeah. What's the most traumatic thing you've ever been through, Jake? I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> oh man, I've been through a lot of shit in my career, to be honest. I'm trying to think of the, I don't know if I can name like one thing specifically. Like a, there's like a whole jumble of things. Who, who's Erica? They're saying Erica. Erica. Oh, my, my ex. My oh. ex-ex. Yeah, I've been through I've been through a lot of fallouts with people and like crazy shit, lawsuits. Like whenever whenever I was the the biggest like YouTuber, it felt like the world was like caving in on me because everyone just wanted to like strip me down and see me fail and make up rumors. Like it was like a giant, giant target on my back. And th every day there was something new to deal with mentally. I think that was like the toughest toughest part of my life gotcha have you been canceled before aiden when were you canceled what for uh i was recently canceled um for saying there's two genders in the world uh i got canceled for that uh i got banned on twitch for that specific reason i think that's when they started to like not fuck with me um so um that's my recent cancellation i believe there's been war way, uh more shit interesting yeah. Ever been to jail? Have I ever been to jail? No, I have not been to jail, sir. Try and avoid it if you can. Do your best. Okay. Jake, have you ever been to jail or no? No. There yeah. you go. So, good. And I don't wish it upon anybody. There's no need to go there. But I was just curious. Yeah. yeah man. I'm on yeah, my man. best behavior. I'm on my best behavior, like, lately. I've kept my nose out of trouble for, like, Two, three years now and and i think that's because of boxing like i'm just always focused and it's helped me like mature and stuff so i have a question which i find interesting if you lost the next five fights in a row would you retire oh wow <laughs> um that would be pretty traumatic but at the same time like Man, I've already exceeded my own expectations in the sport. So, like, I'm I'm happy with where I've gotten, regardless of what happens moving forward. Um, to even just beat some of these legends, some of my idols, Anderson Silva, to win Knockout of the Year, cover of Sports Illustrated. Like, I've accomplished my goals and beyond. Um, and I love this sport, and it's changed my life for the better. So, I think I'll always be boxing you know, even if it's just staying in shape in the gym, but I've always be a promoter. I have my foundation boxing bullies, which is like opening up gyms across uh, the United States and all these places for underprivileged kids to go in and be able to box for free. We're up to like seven gyms now in less than two years. Um, so I just love the sport, man. I, I it changed my life for the better and pulled me out of like some dark places. So I'll always definitely box. Yeah. I have more questions I'm probably not supposed to ask, but I'm going to ask them anyway. Do you genuinely dislike Dana? Is that beef real? Yeah, no, the beef is definitely real. The beef is definitely real, 100%. And I think, I don't know him as a person, so I can't say whether or not I dislike him for who he is in real life, but I dislike his business tactics. I dislike that, you know, fighters only get paid 15% of the total revenue. I dislike that... Um, he has a monopoly basically in MMA and that the fighters are the ones who lose from that. And these fighters are putting their health on the line. They're risking everything. Um, you know, it's the toughest sport in the world. They're paying their own coaches. They're paying their own gym fees and all these other sports, NFL, NBA, they get everything paid for and they make more money. So really he's been able to take advantage of fighters and that's what I don't like. And even the fighter minimum, you know, the, the fighter getting paid uh, $12,500 to go in there. That's the minimum that the UFC fighters get paid. So they're risking their life basically for $12,000. Um, and if he just increased that 
to fifty thousand dollars, it would change so many fighters' lives, and it would only cost the UFC annually fifteen million dollars. But these fighters would be able to actually afford being able to be full time fighters. So yes, he's made a lot of money. He's changed the sport. I loved what he's done for MMA. He's made the sport massive. Um, but now it's time to treat fighters better. And that's, that's my biggest problem with him. Do you think you'd still fight if, so my first fight, I got paid $150. Do you think you'd still fight if you were like not famous and you had to start the bottom and the money was zero and you were still working a job and you were training after the job, like your first 20 fights, you got paid basically nothing. And do you think you'd still do it? Yeah, I believe my life would have probably always led me to fighting. I truly believe it. It feels like what I was destined to do. Um, it's it's who I am deep down is a fighter. So, well, I can tell you're taking it seriously. I I genuinely wish you the best. I've said it even before we started talking. I wish you the best. I can tell you're taking it seriously, and that's what fighting's for. And I respect anybody who gets in the ring, and I hope you win. I hope you do very well. And I don't know Nick, and I'm sure he's training very hard as well. It's gonna. Oh, sorry, Nate. It's gonna be uh interesting to see. That's for sure. That's for sure. Hundred uh, percent. Jake, I got a question. It. I got a question. Um, do you tell me, Fury? Is that is the rematch ever going to happen? Would you guys ever fight again? Um, for is that sure. Right? Yeah, there's there's talks behind the scenes of it. I know he wants to do it, um, and it only makes sense, right? It's one of the biggest pay per view fights of the last couple of years, and it, it was a split decision victory on his end. So, I think we need to go back in there and and leave no doubt, and really settle it. Gotcha. Okay. I'm about to I'm about to go off to uh to sparring here, but it was awesome talking to you guys. Hey Jake, Absolutely. I love you, bro. Hey Jake. I, oh, sorry, Andrew. Love I'm you, sorry. Man. Sorry, Andrew. Go ahead. No, sorry, go Andrew. on. No, it's fine. Aiden, go. Oh, uh, Jake, I love you. Thanks for coming on. Um, love and, you, bro. Uh, tech, talk to you. Talk to you later. Wish you the best. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'll text.